Good evening. The New Mexico Supreme Court has handed a major victory to the governor in her efforts to enforce the public health order through fines. News 13's Chris McKee explains. A handful of restaurants, a gym, massage parlor, and car dealerships sued the governor back in May, claiming that the law outlining $5,000 a day fines for health order violations did not apply to them. The section dealing with uh, health care facilities and health supplies and the disposal of, of bodies, um, violations of, of those orders could also give rise to uh, a $5,000 penalty. The court has concluded that the legislature has clearly given the governor that authority. Now, the Supreme Court's decision means the state can continue to file those $5,000 civil administrative penalties against businesses. Since the pandemic started, 14 businesses have been fined, most in southeast New Mexico. Businesses tried to argue that the state only had the power to file a small $100 citation against them for breaking health order rules, including defying state mandated closures. Now, again, justices disagreed with that argument. The governor's office says the fines are an effort to gain compliance quickly and a last resort. No one wants to issue fines or penalties. Um, this is all very difficult for all public officials, particularly the governor, particularly. Uh, the secretaries. The Supreme Court passed on deciding another issue tied to the same lawsuit over if the state owes money to the businesses that it forced to shut down. Justices haven't decided yet if they'll take up another major lawsuit that the governor's office is facing, that being over the shutdown of indoor dining. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. The state's also pursued other enforcement options, including suspending 11 restaurants' food service permits.